Hi guys. Um, so I've been working out since the past three months and every single day I go out and I go in the wild, I go to different places and I see a lot of greenery around me uh, due to the monsoons here uh, in India, Mumbai, India. So um, I thought why not to uh, make some yarn or cordage out of those plants. So I began researching and I found some useful plants uh, which could be used uh, for making cordage. Out of those plants, uh, these are three of the cordage which I've been making. Uh, one is this one. Uh, this is a cordage which I handmade uh, using um, the cord, the, the fibers of um, kapok plant, kapok. I got a branch out of it. Uh, actually, it was a broken branch. So, this is how the cordage looks. Okay, I just made a trial run and just got, I think it's approximately four to five yards. Then I have this, this cordage turned out to be too good. I think it's a 13 yards of uh, Nalta jute. It's also called Tosa jute it's a different plant okay so i got the branches i took out the center uh, center portion and uh, the green green portion i put it in water for a couple of days um let the green portion turn into slimy and gooey and then uh, just crafted out with uh, with a card with a card or any sharp tool so the green came out and this is how the fiber looks like, you know, after the green portion comes out and once it is dried, this is the fiber of uh, wild okra. We have a plenty of, we have plenty of these plants growing uh, in the wild right now. I'll show you the flowers as well. They're very pretty yellow colored flowers and I processed this fiber last night. See this, I just turned it into like this you know so now i'm going to show you how i make the cordage out of it okay okay so i take a couple of strands oh before i show you this uh, this is what i use this is a dot brush i just scrapped it out and uh, due to that you know all the green vegetable matter the remaining one it comes out and after that, I just take a small strand. You see this? Okay. And you now with my hands, with my hands, I just give it a twist. Okay. The twist can be either this side or this side. And then I, I prefer giving the twist this side. And just make it twist this side. The other one, twist this side, move it together and twist it here. I also use another method. Uh, that is the one which I use the most. I'll show you that method as well. Okay. Now, you see the tapering of the fibers. So, when this happens, you take few more strands out of the fiber okay and you can either join it like this you know because these are so fine it will join well like this or you know, make sure to join it properly at the joints or you can also take this and you know do it like this on the loop turn it twist it twist it this side both the twists should be in the same direction and then this will self twist see this see this so this is one method I'll show you another method as well. Just 
keep on doing this. Twist this. Twist this. How beautiful it looks so I'll show you the second method now for the second method I'll be using my thigh okay I'll be using my right thigh and that's the reason I have to do the video over here on my thigh okay so just wait for a few minutes I'll show it to you so yes we have my thigh ready for the cordage and I find this method more useful you know very easy to do I take a couple of strands more over here and I use it in the loop like this and then I just roll it around. You see this? Roll it. Again the strands over here are tapering so I take a couple of more strands. Put it in the loop like this and roll it. Okay. Roll it. Okay, so this is how it happens. You see this? You have to okay. Yeah, it is. You just keep on rolling it. Oopsie, sorry. Okay, roll it. And see this beautiful cordage? See this? See this beautiful cordage? You know, you just have to keep on rolling this like this and make it into a ball of yarn so that it is easier to work on this portion and it doesn't keep on coming in between and once you start rolling it around what happens is the twist will move over here so you just have to do it like this you don't have to do anything you just do it like this and it will keep on rolling and then you'll have a beautiful uh, beautiful one you know cordage i'll show you the cordage once more you'll have the beautiful cordage like this you know like this once it is done it will look like this just a slight color change other than that, everything is mostly same. It's very strong. See this? See? See how strong it is? Look at that. See? It's very strong. So, this is how I make the cordage of different plants. I have more plants coming up for cordage making. And just keep on looking at my videos and... I won't say subscribe and all. I won't believe in all those things. Subscribe if you wanna. If you don't wanna subscribe, that's fine too. <laughs>